Okay, we're starting coffee, coffee talk. <laughs> I bought it to stream it a while ago, a very long time ago. But uh, it's kind of hard to stream something like this where there's so much dialogue. So I thought we w I would make some videos instead. So yeah, let's get started. Our name is Inaria. Yeah. Let's play the game. Yeah. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crush before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automobile empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of, embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. On one corner of the city stands a, a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their, their stories. And these are their stories. Copy Talk. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. So if you haven't played this game yet, if you have never played this game, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Valhalla. So you listen to your client, well, your patrons, and you make drinks for them. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Narian. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set up things. Uh, let let me set things up first. I can read, I promise. I say this every time and I keep making mistakes when I read. You're a first customer after all. Don't worry, you take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Oh. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway. I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh, uh, as I said, we can look up all of the recipes. So 
coffee 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 that's just an expert an espresso though one cup of triple shot of espresso special for my only customer tonight hmm that aroma <laughs> exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Ah, oh, yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I start. I was making the plan to uh, making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go awry. Hehehehe. Ha 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 ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the evening whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they also are the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, don't give me... Don't look at me like that. Are you frail? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how oh, did they react? Thankfully, it seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. And get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal? That sounds great! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on a novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper deadline. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Ah. Uh... Oh boy. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Are you? Err. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written on is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. <laughs> So, zero. Uh, yeah. I really need to finish in it, to, to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to fall polish, to polish, <laughs> polish, and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull that off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. I mean, two weeks to read to write a book is kind of really, really short. 
unless it's a really short story you know i've tried writing for a very long time and uh yeah i wouldn't be able to finish a full book in a month <laughs> it's not not even a month even two weeks <clears throat> that's why i'm here today i'm hoping to find some inspiration I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? I'm glad this place, this place could be of service. Oh, it, it looks like someone's coming. Welcome! Hi there. Hello. Good evening. We're here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Alright, let's look on our thing. Dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That sounds like something we can do. Because no coffee. So, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Bro. Turvy. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yeah, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it. Is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone looking for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. An area in here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating? Don't worry about it. An area can manage. I'm sure she had. I'm, I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. Hey, I I'm not rich, okay? I I am not rich. <laughs> I wish, but I'm not rich. So you also have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer, works best at night, and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of thing do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote these stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. 
welcome hi sorry to keep you waiting it's okay <clears throat> I had a nice chat with the fine folks here I messed up the <laughs> Hey there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Um, surprise me. What kind of order is that? Uh, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some laddy hard on it. Alright, what do we have? Um, cafe latte or cappuccino milk. Cappuccino maybe? You said with milk, but like bitter with milk. I feel like this one is a little bit more um, what is the word for it? Milky. Sweet. Well, this one should be a little bit more bitter, right? Right? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> That's gonna be awful. Alright, um... All right, what do we draw? <laughs> I'll, I'll do something very basic first, okay? Got Claire de Lune in the background. That's so ugly. <laughs> I don't know what this is. call that they are that's cute <laughs> perfect <laughs> hey listen I tried okay anyway I was distracted by some work plus there's the raid it's okay Bailey I was having a nice chat with them oh yeah I haven't properly introduced myself I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you, both of you. I'm Inarian. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Aisling Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work with them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance, freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricature and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. I'm glad. Well, yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visual department. I wouldn't be able to send working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. 
No matter how deep you go, there's always got another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customer here? I only deal with bad customers late this late at night or the only bad customers this late at night are the lo lost, drunk or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fist. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Fighting fox. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is, I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. <laughs> where are you going to write? What are, where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just so at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problem with your latest client? Yeah, that one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter. That might be worth it. You should ask Canarian here how to deal with any annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own my I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. No, that's one good lesson to learn from today. <laughs> Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staring at parents' place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how hells are only creatures, about our immort more immortality, about how even if I outlive you, 
Wait. Nothing. How about how if you outlive me? No other elves would take you with. No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Ugh. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way where we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Uh, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Ugh, wait! <sighs> I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has been... I've seen all kind of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Hey, <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's, that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Alright, we're starting with a sad story already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's so sad. That is so sad. Let's try. Let's try. Um, I need to learn like oh, <laughs> I need to I need to find like how to. <laughs> I need to find like how this works because <laughs> this is so awful. <laughs> is your green tea last? <laughs> this is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? <laughs> Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an, an eternity to be an 
eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. I'll probably drink myself under until death sunrise. There's still a wall until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you <laughs> to visit again. Oh boy. Oh boy! <sighs> you are listening from the corner. Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close it up shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. There's gonna be so many different stories. That's what that's what I really liked about Valhalla. There was like everybody had like different stories and reasons to go to the bar and different lives. And I think this game is also gonna be the same. Like trauma and stories, love stories, sad stories, a lot of stories. And that's gonna be so much fun to go over. But for today, let's end this here. Hey everybody, have a good day, good night, whatever time it is to you. And I will see you next video or next stream. Bye-bye!